Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform logarithmic regression using Excel. So before we start, let's take a look at some sample data. So I've got some very basic data here. In column A, I have the age of trees. So this is a tree growth experiment. So I have the age of trees from age one year up to 11 years. And then in column B, then I have the average height of the trees in a, in a, in a small forest um, in meters for each of these years. So for example, uh, one year old trees have an average height of 1.83 meters. Two year old trees have an average height of 2.9 meters and so on down to 11 year old trees, which have an average height of six. 0.04 meters. So I'd like to be able to use these data to make some predictions. So for example, if I wanted to know well, what would the average height of the tree bees after, trees be after, say, five years and six months, so we'll take a look at that. We have a logarithmic regression formula here at the bottom. I'll come back to that, but we want to use logarithmic regression to help make this forecast. So we want to make the forecast of what is the height, the, that's our dependent variable, y, based on our independent variable x, which is the age of the trees. So let's start by making a plot of this chart here. So I'm selecting all the data from cell A1 down to B12. I'm going to pick the insert ribbon, and in the chart section in the center, I'm going to make a scatter plot. So here's my uh, default scatter plot here. Let me make a couple of changes to it just to make it easier to understand. I'm going to hit the plus sign at the top right hand side of the chart here and select the axis title box so that in my y axis here, I'm going to put in the height. In the x axis at the, at the bottom, I'm going to put in the uh, years. Sorry, I'm going to put in the age. And I also want to change the format of the x-axis here. You can see it's uh, in increments of 2, 4, 6. I just want this to, to show um, all the increments, um, um, our major units, in the format axis option in the center here on the right-hand side. You can see that it's 2. I've highlighted it just now. And I want to change this to 1, just so that I can see each of the years on my chart. Now, looking at this, you can see that as trees get older, their height increases. But you can see there's a little bit of a leveling off, and we've got a curve here. So a simple linear regression would not be suitable here. So we need something different, and that's where our logarithmic regression formula comes in. So what the formula means in here, I'm just going to highlight this section so as I go along. I'm in the brown box here now. So my dependent variable y, so that's what I want to predict. So what is the height in meters uh, based on this formula? The value b here, and sometimes you'll see this y is equal to b times log x uh, plus a, and sometimes you'll see it as y equal to a plus b times log x. It's the same result, so just watch out for that. So in this instance here, the letter b, this represents the expected change in the value of y when x increases by a fixed percentage. So it's a little bit like the slope in, uh, in simple linear regression. We then we've got to take the log of x. So this is where the logarithmic part of the regression comes in. So uh, our x, well, that's in this case here, is going to be our age. So that is our independent variable. And we take the natural log of that. And then we add to those the value a. And this is the expected of va value of y when x is equal to 1. So we can see from our chart here the uh, x value of 1 uh, would have a value of y just under 2.0. So let's uh, go ahead and see how we can uh, use Excel to uh, generate this formula. So I'm going to select here with the left mouse button um, to any of the points on the chart, and I'm going to right click and choose uh, Add Trend Line. And when I do that, you can see that Excel puts in a straight um, uh, line here. And if you look at the Format Trend Line options over on the right hand side, you can see that the default trend line is a linear trend line. So that's the option that comes up. And we can see here uh, that this line here represents simple linear regression, and we can tell that it's not really a good model to help predict values. So you can see it's undervaluing uh, here in the center, and it's overvaluing at the end and at the bottom here. So that line is not suitable for us. And of course, what we need here is the next option in the trend line options on the right hand side, which is the logarithmic trend line. And you can see this gives us a much, much better model here so that we can now use this curved line to make a prediction of y height based on a value of x. So if I choose, say, for example, a value of 5.5, that's five years and six months, uh, I will see that it will give me roughly, by extrapolating here, moving up to the line, the curved line, moving left, I get a value of just over five meters. So let's go ahead and, and use this uh, for to do our calculations here. I'm just going to move my formula over here to the right-hand side and the uh, image here for a second. 
And I need to be able to generate this formula here. So the way I do that is um, I want to select my line again here. Um, and uh, when I look over at the right hand side, when I get the format trend line option, the second last checkbox has display equation on the chart. So I'm going to check on that box and you can immediately see here on the chart that the equation is displayed. Um, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so as we can see it. And also just to increase visibility here, I'm going to remove the back, background lines here by just selecting the vertical lines and the horizontal lines just to move them away. So I'm making this formula very large just to, to exaggerate for effect here. And we can see the format of the lines. So we've got our dependent variable y, so that's here on the left hand side and same as in my formula. And that's equal to a value of 1.8618 and that's my value for b in the formula down here. Okay. Uh, then we've got ln, which is the natural log of x, so we don't have a value for x yet. We're going to use 5.5, and we, we'll take the natural log of that value, so that's the log x here. And then plus the value for a, and remember, that's the expected value of y when x is 1, and we can see that that's 1.8593. In fact, you can, if you look at the chart here, a value for 1, uh, age of 1 year old, if you extrapolate upwards and move left, it'll be just in underneath the value of 2, and the actual value is 1.8591. So let's now go ahead and see uh, if we can make a prediction. So I want to know um, what will the height of a tree be for a tr uh, average heights of tree be, trees be at the age of five years and six months. So I'm going to put the age down here uh, in, in, in the section. I've, I've actually uh, saved some time. I've typed out these uh, labels here in order to help me use this formula. So I'm going to my, uh, use the, my independent value, variable value of 5.5 and I want to calculate what, what would the predicted height of that be using this model. Now I need to then get the log of x, and remember it's the natural log of x, so I'm going to type in equals here, and the function name is ln for the natural log of a number, and brackets, and I'm just going to click on cell um, C15 here, closing brackets, and that will give me the natural log of 5.5, and we can see that that value is 1.7. So we've got one of the three values that we need in our formula. We need a value for x, the log of x, natural log of x. We also need b and we also need a. And Excel has given us those values, so let's put them in here. So my value for a is, well, I'm copying this from the diagram, 1.8591. My value for b is 1.8618. And so now with these three values here that I've selected, these are the three components of my formula. So now all I've got to do then is work out the formula and to get the predicted height y. So I'm going to do this just by simple maths and type in equals here. I need an opening bracket because I'm going to do the multiplication first. I want to multiply the value of b by the natural log of x. So that's the value b here, which is in cell C19. And that's multiplied by the natural log of x, which is in C16, closing bracket. And then we can see in our formula, we need to add the value of a, so this is plus, and the value of A is here in our cell C18. And when I press enter, I will get a predicted height of 5.033 meters. And if we, I'm going to just use a line here, insert um, a line. Just to insert a quick line here. So if I make this red so we can see it and a little bit more obvious. So if I put on my chart here somewhere roughly my line is roughly on between uh, five and six on the x-axis so in other words 5.5 years um, and if I copy that line and put in another one here and just look over to the left hand side extrapolate over just to give me a visual of this you can see that I'm going to get roughly 5.00 so that's very close to the predicted value that we've got so now we've got a model that we can use to help us predict the value of h. If I change my um, um, formula over here, I've now got the, the uh, everything worked out. If I want to say, for example, I want to know uh, what would the heights of trees be after nine and a half years, I just type in 9.5 here, and my uh, um, model here will work out that the height of a tree after 9.5 years will be roughly just over six meters. So that's how you perform logarithmic regression using Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.